Arena is one of Hearthstone's oldest game modes. It's been here since the very start and if you've played Hearthstone, chances are you've also tried playing Arena. I certainly know I've played it a lot. I used to play a lot of duels. Some of you may have seen my series on trying to fix duels, but since duels was cancelled I've been getting a lot back into Arena. But I gotta say, I haven't been enjoying it as much as I used to. So today I'll be trying to fix Hearthstone Arena. Throughout the years, Blizzard have tried to implement a couple changes to Arena, but usually not ones that last, and for the most part, Arena has stayed the same. But one of the recent changes Blizzard introduced was reducing the amount of legendaries you can get in a single run to one, which you'll always pick at the start of the run. While this change was meant to make all Arena decks more consistent, somehow it seems getting to high amounts of wins is being gatekept by the strongest decks now more so than ever before. While before you needed to only get lucky with a couple good legendaries to make a good deck, now you need to get lucky with many good cards to have a competitive deck. And since the cards in your deck are usually not gonna be great cards, Hearthstone Arena has turned into a competition of who can generate the best cards. Welcome to Discover Stone, I guess. So here are the first two changes I'd introduce. I call it the Reroll button and the Need button. Now these updates wouldn't necessarily need to get introduced together. Maybe one is enough or perhaps they could be periodically cycled. Here's what they are. The Reroll button is probably not that hard to imagine what it does. This would be a once per draft button that allows you to re-roll one of your card picks if none of the three cards available are to your liking. The need button is a little different. Something that can feel really bad is when you've drafted some terrible cards and you finally get a great option but you have to pick between three good cards. The need button would be a once per draft button that allows you to keep all three cards available in the card pick but you can only use the need button if you have 27 cards in your deck or less and not when choosing a legendary card. Something else I've noticed is that modern Hearthstone cards are somehow worse for Arena than they used to be. What I mean by that? Well, most class cards printed today are based around specific synergies and archetypes, like Plagues for Death Knight, Spell School Mage, the Excavate cards, you name it. And the legendaries printed today are usually centered around those same synergies, which means you need to draft the whole package if you want to make use of any of the cards. Beyond that, many of the legendaries that are all around good have been banned from Arena, like the Titans and cards like Astalor, so Blizzard is practically forcing you into running one of those packages, which is honestly just unrealistic. I have a few solutions in mind for this as well. Now, unlike my last changes, these updates would almost certainly be too much if introduced together. So here's the first. If Blizzard insists on restricting arena runs to a single legendary, they should at least ensure that all classes have some powerful legendaries to use. So my plan is to introduce new arena exclusive legendaries for all classes. These would be legendaries that are all around good and are not reliant on specific synergies or archetypes. I've made one new legendary for each class, but perhaps more could be introduced. They are... Arash the Summoner for Death Knight. Something that could be really powerful for extended games in Arena are hero cards, but Demon Hunter only has one, which is not currently in rotation. So my card for Demon Hunter is a hero card. Veretta's Fell Soul costs 8 mana, gives you 5 armor and lets you discover a non-legendary demon that costs 8 or more to summon. Demon Hunter has a lot of powerful demons that are ideal to summon this way. His hero power is Touch of Fill, which will give your hero plus 2 attack this turn, and if you attack and kill a minion, it will add a random demon to your hand. Another thing that's always great to get in Arena are the Colossal Minions, but I think we can all agree that the one for Druid really sucks. So the legendary I made for Druid would be a new Colossal Minion. Iron Bark the Ancient is a 6 mana 5-5 five five with Colossal plus 2 and Taunt. He will also gain plus 1 health whenever you gain armor. His appendages are Iron Box Arms, which are 3-1 minions with Rush, that will give you 3 armor after they attack and kill a minion. Hunter gets Fenris Wolf Brother. This 7 mana 5-4 minion is an homage to my recent Hunter overhaul. For Mage I made Aether Sunreaver. Paladin gets Vindicator Marad. This 4 mana 3 4 minion with Rush will let you discover a blessing spell that costs 2 or less to cast on himself. 
and will then add the other two you didn't pick to your hand. The blessing spells you'll discover are always Blessing of Might, Blessing of Wisdom and Lightforge Blessing, at least until more chi blessing spells are added to the game. The legendary for priest is Sarah Lightmother. Rogue has so many cards that generate or draw other cards in Arena, and they always seem to struggle with hand space. So for Rogue are made Fangs of the Father. For Shaman are made Prince Thunderan. This 5 mana 3 6 elemental has Rush and Wind Fury, and has a start of game effect that will upgrade your hero power. For those that don't know, the upgraded Shaman hero power allows you to choose which basic totem to summon. I figured it was okay to print a conditionless start of game effect, since it also means your single legendary is spent on a measly 3 6 with Rush and Wind Fury. Warlock gets Medivh Contemptible King. I figured since Wretched Queen is so clearly the best arena card for Warlock right now, this could be another way to get your hands on one of those. And it can also be used to push face damage. Finally, for Warrior, I've made Warchief Dalrand. That's all of them. I tried making each one applicable for multiple situations. Also, if these were the only arena exclusive legendaries introduced, they would probably have a higher chance of appearing than other legendaries. But if other arena exclusive legendaries like these were introduced, I imagine it would just be random what you get. Now, the other change I had in mind is a little simpler. Nothing in modern arena compares to the old feeling of getting two, sometimes three legendaries in a single run, so I think Blizzard should go back on the decision that you can't. I like that you're guaranteed a legendary at the start of the run, but I think you should also be able to generate at least one more during the draft. Maybe it could randomly appear when choosing cards like they used to, or if Blizzard wants consistency, why not let us draft another legendary at the very end of the run? We already have the legendary at the start to decide the direction of the deck, so why not add another at the end to build excitement for your first game? It's not like standard decks are only running a single legendary anyway. Those were just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments if you thought these ideas would improve Arena, and if you like what you saw, consider subscribing to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.